Ghoul Friend by Patrick Langell. Fade in, exterior haunted house day. This place is about to fall down. A condemned sign blocks the front door. Windows were used as target practice. The porch steps are all smashed in, as if someone took a jackhammer to them. Standing in front of the house is Jacob, 18, wide-eyed with excitement and a video camera in hand. He waves his friends over. Come on, I'll get some shots of us in front of it. Joining him, friend Lana, 18, deadpan, snarky. She stands next to the amateur filmmaker and stares the eyesore up and down. Isn't this great? She arches an eyebrow. I skipped jujitsu for this. Two stragglers, Pete, 18, glasses, asthma, carries all of their gear under his arms, and Amber, 18, ditzy, carrying the lightest piece of equipment they have over her shoulder. She's distracted by getting the best pose for a selfie. How are we getting everything inside? Jacob ponders, then remembers. There's this back door that I think will take us to... Smash! Lana chops the condemned sign in half with her bare hand. A roundhouse kick she delivers uh, obliterates the door. Or that. You got that, Amber? Huh? Oh, sorry, girl. Every Lana rolls her eyes. Typical. Okay, everyone watch your step. Interior haunted house. Foyer. Dark and dingy. Victorian. Hasn't been occupied in years by the looks of the cobwebs and dust. The team checks around, figuring out where to start. Pete gets out a big, portable light for the camera. Lana checks batteries and cables. The battery on Amber's phone drains before her eyes. A once green bar sinks to red. Guys, this is really weird. My phone just died. Shouldn't have wasted so much time on Insta. No, it was fully charged, I swear. That's a you problem, Amber. He checks his cell phone. Also dead. What the? A you problem, Pete? Has to be a logical explanation. Too early to assume paranormal activity. Para what now? She's taken aback like this is the first time she's heard this topic brought up. Amber, you remember why we're here, right? Yeah, I thought we were just creeping around an old house, like, for a potential remodel. We're not here to flip a house, Space Cadet. The assignment was to do a documentary on a haunted location. One group got Haunted Carnival, one got Haunted Orphanage, and we got this place. Hell Cry Manor. Pete holds the portable light under his face to enhance the creepiness. Amber's face sinks into terror. And we'll be the only group to get real ghosts on camera. You don't know that, Jacob. Oh, I know. Because I've got a feeling. He looks up at the ceiling proudly, like he's being informed by another power. Lana looks up, only to find a poor boy's dashed hopes and dreams, and maybe black mold. I think I'll stand in the middle of the stairs to set up the intro. Wait, are we going upstairs? Yes, Pete. What'd you think? We were going to tell everyone we were too chicken to check out the rest of the house? Oh, yeah, that'd be a great documentary. Go into a haunted house. Oh, you know what, guys? I don't think we'll be going upstairs. Too dark and spooky. The end. Sounds of incomprehensible speech and a gust of wind come from upstairs. Jacob gets excited while Pete looks nervous enough to wet his pants, and Lana is nonplussed. Amber circles around in search of an outlet for her phone charger. No time for ghosts. Okay, come on. We'll skip the intro for now. Let's go find out what that is. Pete gets minimal help from Lana and Amber lugging their precious gear upstairs. Amber stops spinning, realizing there's no outlets left, and follows them. Interior haunted house upstairs. Jacob, Pete, and Lana search for where the sound came from. Amber continues searching for a working outlet. She tries one, nothing, and moves on to the next. Uh, Amber, you know there's no electricity, right? This place has been abandoned for years, hence no power. Capiche? Haha, you guys can't fool me that easily. How are you powering all your stuff? Batteries? (laughs) She continues trying. Whatever. Come on, let's check some rooms. That one's open. She points to one ajar, the bathroom. What, legs out of steam? Interior haunted house, hallway. Amber wanders down a hallway, letting the others do their ghost hunting thing. She gets frustrated, but doesn't know when to quit with every passing outlet she finds. That's it. This is the last one. She tries it. Do or die. Ugh! Nope, nada. Dang it! She rips the charger out of the wall and notices an eerie green light spilling out from underneath the door at the other end of the hall, along with some billowing fog. No power, huh? You guys! 
how do you explain this? This room not only has power, but there's like a fog machine in there. Shows what you know. She opens the door. No fear. <sighs> Too clueless to care. Interior haunted house. Bedroom. Inside is a young woman's bedroom. Macabre. Black candles. A gothic style bed surrounded by silk netting. At a makeup desk, a ghoulish girl, 18 to 20, brushes her long, straight black hair. She wears a long white gown. Amber stands there, unsure. The ghoulish girl doesn't seem to know she's there. She only keeps brushing her hair with the back to the intruder. Amber isn't at all that creeped out by any of the eeriness of it all. Hey, um, excuse me. Do you have an outlet I could use? Ghoulish girl stands and faces her. Even with most of her hair covering her face, her eyes are visible, and so are the dark rings around them. Both stand there and stare at one another. The look on Amber isn't quite fear. The expression on the ghoulish girl is malice. Could it be love at first sight? Interior haunted house, spooky room. Jacob, Lana, and Pete barge their way in. They're greeted by something unseen in the dark. They only become aware when it opens its big red eyes. Whatever it is, it shrieks at them with unholy vocals. Get out! The three retreat, slamming the door behind them. Interior haunted house, bedroom. Amber and ghoulish girl still stand there, across from one another, neither saying a word. Their looks say everything. Amber? Amber, we have to go. Where are you? Amber writes her number down on a piece of paper. Jacob, Pete, and Lana rush in and pull Amber out of the room before she can hand it to the ghoulish girl. Come on, we don't have much time. <laughs> Exterior haunted house, night. Monstrous cries blast from upstairs all throughout the house. These screams follow Jacob, Pete, Lana, and Amber as they book it off the property. Interior apartment, day. Early morning, Jacob scrubs through a timeline on his computer, going over the little ghost adventure and what went terribly wrong. Pete, Lana, and Amber hang back and watch with him, but Amber's mind seems to be someplace else. Well, as you can see, we can't see shit. Almost nothing on camera ex except for shadows and shoes running. Are you positive that's not your vision? He frowns. What does it sound like? Jacob unmutes the clip. It has a distinct sound of a cat trapped in a vacuum. Everyone covers their ears. Sick beat. Now what? Well, I really don't want to admit defeat. It seems like everyone else in the class has captured paranormal activity, and they're all laughing at us. At a laptop screen just next to them, a live Zoom call shows some of their classmates pointing and laughing at them. Jacob shuts the laptop, ending the embarrassment. Lana catches Amber reading a letter completely void of their group's predicament. Any thoughts, Amber? A thought, rather. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like the sweetest. Who? The girl from last night. We've been sending these notes to each other. She hugs her letter. Huh? Lana takes the letter away from Amber and reads it over. Wait, you've been talking to a ghost this whole time and never thought to tell us? Ghost? She hasn't ghosted me. She wouldn't do that to moi. Amber, you do realize you were in a haunted house? You were chased out by a poltergeist while that, while you were making friends with that. She's not a that. She's... Well, I guess I didn't have time to ask for proper pronouns, but that's on me. Okay. How did she even send that to you? No idea how it works, but I'd like to think it's true love. Right. Sure. Why not? Okay, you know what this means, right? Not in the slightest. Your ghoul friend might be our only chance of capturing actual spooks on video. So you want to make her famous? Uh, sure. But I don't think we can go back to the house, not after uh, what happened. Well, we did break and enter. Wasn't really our fault, though. I mean, we didn't know there was actual ghosts living there. Not what he meant. I, I don't know, you guys. She says her father doesn't like, like her leaving the house. He seems like a real tyrant. Plus, she's super shy. She doesn't really have any friends. But we almost didn't make it out the last time. Amber shows them a new letter. New text just appears on the same piece of paper she's been reading from. How is that happening? Jacob checks his phone, finds a reminder for an event date. Wait, there's a party tonight by the lake. It's not too far from the house. 
if she can meet us there at like 10, then she can have her date with Amber and we can capture the whole thing on camera. She could transport her whatever back home before her father even finds out. I mean, some frat party really isn't exactly what I had in mind for a romantic first date. But she should really get out more, so I, I guess this could work. Not that it's huge or anything, but the atmosphere there would look good on camera. Amber, as of right now, we're all counting on you. This could be do or die. So, you know, no pressure. Exterior lake. Night. Cameras and lights set up. Jacob, Pete, Lana, and Amber wait around for any sign of ghoulish girl. College kids drink from a keg and mess around, seemingly unaware of what exactly is happening with the camera setup. You told her ten, right? Yes. You know, the daytime could have worked too. Ghosts in daylight are boring. <sighs> Facts. An unsettling humming coming from out in the water. It stops. Ghoulish girl emerges from the lake. She levitates above the water and onto dry land. College kids stop what they're doing. They can't believe their eyes. Oh my god, it's her! Pete whispers to Jacob and Lana. Who the hell else would it be? As ghoulish girl walks up to them, the moonlight follows her, casting her in a magical shimmer. That is so romantic. Amber takes her hand and faces everyone. Everyone, there is someone I'd like you to meet. The college kids all look at each other, speculating onto whether to stay or run. Moments later, ghoulish girl drinks beer and talks to people. They do everything they can to make her feel welcome. Wow, Amber. You know, for someone that didn't want to be a part of this project and didn't even lift a finger, you actually ended up saving the day. Just goes to show, Lana, that with a lot of determination and work, shutting up that no voice, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> but you didn't... Sure. <laughs> she pats her arm and moves on to refill her cup at the keg. Why argue? Everything grows quiet. A strong wind kicks up, knocking things over, including some people. Red eyes materialize in the sky. It's him. He's pissed. Ah, uh, where is my daughter? You will all suffer. Amber gets in front of Ghoulish Girl to shield her, but Ghoulish Girl pushes her back. Her eyes shine green. Her jaw stretches as she screams back at the sky. Uh, I'm with my friends and I am not coming back until morning! Uh, uh, why would you go behind my back? I am your father. I am an adult now! I can make my own choices and you are embarrassing me right now! Uh, the red eyes act more vulnerable, scared even. Ah! I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I just get so lonely. Can we talk about this later? I am in the middle of something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Who is that you're with? She is my girlfriend. Ah! Ah! Nice to meet you, Amber. <laughs> I must be going now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> the red eyes begin to float away, but come back. Did you need a jacket? <laughs> okay. Please drink responsibly. The red eyes vanish. Everything goes quiet like nothing happened. Amber embraces ghoulish girl. Everyone crowds around them. I knew you could do it. Wow, this could be one of the greatest discoveries ever. Pete holds up the camera. It's too bad the battery died just when you showed up. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Jacob grabs the camera to look over the blunder. Lana pushes them both along to give Amber and ghoulish girl some privacy. Show's over. Nothing to see here. Just two people in love and junk. Amber looks lovingly into those stone-cold, glazed-over eyes. She knows she's dead, right? Ghoulish girl and Amber kiss in the moonlight as everyone returns to their partying ways. Fade to black. The end.